Good morning. It is Monday, the worst day of the week, but we're going to try and start it well. Robbie and I are going to go for a walk around Stormont while the weather is semi crispy and dry. Semi crispy? That is not. I could not be a weather presenter. But uh, yeah, we're going to go do that and go get a general merchant's, uh, get a wee coffee from there and maybe a wee treat, because um, why not? Apologies about my attire. This is my I've just got up look. Although I did get new Birkenstocks and they are unreal. I've been looking for these for many a year now. But yeah, so we're just going to go get ready and get going. Okay, I thought I'd just show you what I'm wearing before we go here. Um, I look like a bat. Um, so I'm wearing a long sleeved uh, top from Marquette. Um, I love these, they're just so basic to hang on, I've got, or to stick on. I've got it in white as well, but they're just good for like a wee under, um, a wee under top. Uh, then my matte black belt from Cos, uh, if you can see it. Um, and then these trousers are the, I think they might be the cropped barrel leg trousers. I'll link everything below again so that you can find them easier. Or, e yeah, easier because I can never remember what anything's called. Um, but I love these. They are, they're a great length because, yeah, again, it's that thing where they come just sort of like above my ankle. Um... The only thing is, yeah, because I've got like a little like pouch thing always going on, um, the pockets tend to kind of like pop out. But if I'd gone for a size bigger, it they just it would have been far too big. But yeah, for some reason on this one, I don't know if you can see, like I've got a big big arse. So, but yeah, the white bit of the pocket always kind of pops out, which is annoying. I don't know why they've made the inside of the pockets white. It's just, yeah, I don't know. That's my only my only thing with them. But other than that, they're a really nice fit. They come my belly button. Where is my belly button? Here. So they come nice and like high, which I find is like a good, you know, sort of it's a good height for whenever you've got shorter legs. So yeah, above the belly button always wins. Um but yeah, so there's these and then I'm wearing my Doc Martens, um, the Doc Martens in 1461 monos, which need cleaned. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm wearing today. And then, oh sorry, and then this coat. So this coat's from Zara a good couple of years ago. Um, it's a wool coat, which is kind of a rarity for Zara, to be honest. I tend not to shop at Zara because... Oh, well, I don't know, I suppose it's maybe to do with their, like sustainability uh, efforts and uh, yeah there's just like a lot of kind of eh, iffy, iffy things about Zara. The quality of their clothes also I think is pretty rubbish. Um, a lot of stuff that I've had you know has fallen apart in the washing machine after not long but this coat to give them their dues I've had this for a good couple of years I got it in the this it was in the sale or second hand I can't remember now um, but it is a wool coat it's really warm and it's actually quite like it's a like nice flattering fit um so you can either you know put it closed with the wrap or leave it open i tend to leave it open but um the neck on it i quite like this neck it's you know that kind of like draped sort of look i hope you can see this it's very dark in here the light isn't great at the minute and um yeah i'm wearing all black so it's not picking it up that well but yeah, so I'm wearing that. Also, I have this little thing, right? This is going to be Marmite for people. I am intrigued to see what you think. So uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments, but I'll show you it now. Dinner! <laughs> okay, I don't know what people think of this. I personally love it. It is the coziest thing ever. Um, I am, of course, wearing my Sankovis bag, and then this is the coat whenever it's wrapped, but um, I'll just show you the hood. So I got this, I saw this last year. It makes me look like I like little chipmunk cheeks, but sure, look. Um, I saw this last year whenever I was in Arquette um, in London in like a mole grey, and I was like, oh, I love it. 
and Robbie was like, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. But it came out this year in black. Maybe it was in black last year and I just completely missed it. I don't know. But it's a cashmere. Is it cashmere? It's a cashmere hood, I think. Or is it alpaca? Do you know what? I'll just link it below again. I can't remember. But it's from Arquette. Um, I saw... Basically, I loved it. I always thought it was really chic. Um, and then the row brought out their new campaign can't remember which season and all the women in it are wearing these sort of these little black hoods and wearing them back off their heads kind of like this and then big long wrap coats and everything like that so I was like I'm getting the hood I don't care what people say I'm getting the hood so I got it and I love it <laughs> I just think it looks class it's also it's just so warm as well like I've been wearing it out and like because it's only your face it's exposed now it's like yeah it's proper cozy so and it's just it's super super soft so yeah that is my marmite outfit for today um intrigued to know what you think about the hood do leave comments below because i always like a wee discussion about odd things so yeah <laughs> Interesting, Dad. Right, I'm very like now. Bye. Bye. <laughs> One step away from. <laughs> All great cheesecakes start with a delicious biscuit. heading to Envoy today in Belfast to do a, what would it even be called? Basically I'm going to go take photos of myself in clothes from Envoy which I can't wait for because uh, I have some beautiful stuff so I'm just about to leave. This is what I'm wearing. I haven't left the house in a week. It's probably freezing outside and I'm going to be ridiculously cold but I thought I'd show you what I'm wearing. So I'm wearing a navy iron knit jumper from Anne Daughter, which I absolutely adore. Um, I'm gonna talk about this a bit more later, but yes, it's beautiful. The size of it 
everything love um, and then I'm wearing this dress white uh, cotton dress from Arquette um, I don't mean to flash you but uh, yeah it's like a long sleeved kind of little nice little button detail um, but it just looks class over our under big jumper I think and then on my feet I am wearing my new uh, Birkenstocks Monterey Monterey Exquisite is it they're called all black Birkenstocks I have looked for these for over a year um, but I had no luck in finding them until I found them the other night and was like no way this is not real life they must be fakes but no they are very much real and I got them for I think half the price because they are unbelievably expensive um, otherwise so yeah I just went with a pair of black cashmere socks from Marks and Spencers I need to get some kind of woolly knit socks because I think that would be nicer but well not nicer but you know it would be cool with like a big chunky jumper and a dress so yeah voila this is what I am wearing I need to get a new mirror I don't know why I'm talking like this tell me what up all the pieces she's going home baby i'm home i'm home i'm home yeah she's going home baby i'm home i'm home i'm Well, what's the crack? It is Friday. So I am in my the alpaca two piece, or as Robbie likes to call it, my P1 tracksuit. I am not really doing much today. It's one of those days I think you just sit in your comfies. It's Friday. I think we're just gonna maybe get like a takeaway this evening and just chill out and take it easy today. Sorry, I keep wiping my nose. Uh, yesterday was great though, so I went to Envoy in Belfast, um, if you don't know it, it is like a high-end designer um, store, like concept store, um, they have the most beautiful pieces, so kind of like Acne, Daniela Gregis, YMC, Simone Rocha, Margaret Hoyle, my fave, um, how can I forget, so yeah, they have loads and loads of fa like fantastic pieces in. So they really nicely asked me to come down and sort of shoot a few different outfits. It was a great day. It was a great, like, nice wee way to start the morning, get me out of the house as well. And, yeah, I had a ball with it. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed some of the, the outfits. And then, yeah, met my mum, um, which was hilarious because she wanted to go and buy that new Hilary Mantle book. She's been talking about it. I'm not even joking since probably the start of the summer so i thought she already had it but no she still she's been patiently waiting for the paperback and i was like just buy the hardback like you're going to be waiting ages you come up to belfast like once in a blue moon too mom lives on banger and it's just like oh my god belfast i'm like mom it's literally 20 minutes up the road like calm yourself but uh there was like a fiver off or something the hardback i thought just buy it but like in the book like if you think I'm small, my mom is four foot eleven. She could be even smaller now. And the book is like the size of her, so I had to help her get it in her wee backpack and all. But like it just made me laugh. Um, so no, it was really good to see mom. Um, and I think we're gonna try and make it like a wee regular thing where she comes up to Belfast, go for a coffee and stuff. Um, the annoying thing I suppose is that like still the fur or not the furlough. The lockdown situation in Northern Ireland is still kind of up the left. Um, all like cafes, restaurants, bars, everything are closed. Um, you can only do takeaway then for coffee shops. So yesterday, I mean, it was nice yesterday because the weather was nice, like nice and autumnal. 
So you could just go and like sit at City Hall and stuff and got a, got a wee coffee from Cafe O, um, which was great. But yeah, it's annoying. You can't really sit in anywhere. So if the weather's minging, um, yeah, you're snookered really. Just sit under an umbrella and grin and bear it. But um, things are due to change, I think, next week. Is it next week or is it near the end of this week? I don't know. Stormont. Yeah. Don't even get me started on our government. Ooh. I get it. Like, I mean, I understand with coronavirus and everything, like, these measures have to be put in. But, um, I just feel for local businesses. Like, you know, it's just not, it's not good. And for, especially for, like, the likes of, like, cafes and everything. Like, any cafe that I've gone into in Belfast have, like, pulled out, like, all the stops, all the measures. You know, masks, sanitizing, track and trace. Like, they do such a good job of it. So I think it's kind of unfair to put them in the same category as bars. And, like, I feel sorry for the bars as well. Like, they've just, like, had a nightmare this year. But um, it would be nice to be open for Christmas and, you know, be able to actually go and get a drink. I really want some mulled wine. Is that weird? It's only, like, Friday morning. <laughs> But, um, so, yeah, I don't know what the situation will be. Um, good news for myself, though. Um, I think I mentioned earlier on in the week, Boris Johnson had made that announcement on Halloween night, on the 31st, uh, on Saturday night. Interrupted Strictly. I'm sorry, but, like, I mean, that's a no. Don't interrupt Strictly. <laughs> so yeah, I couldn't, well, I could believe it, but I also was just like, are you taking the piss? To announce that the furlough scheme is now extended to March. No, well, I think he initially said it was extended to November and now they're saying it could be extended to March, which is like amazing. I mean, happy days, like I'm elated, but like it just, to, to announce it on the last day of the month, on a Saturday night, like, it's just so, it's crap. Like, the amount of people I know that have already lost their jobs, thankfully, like, my employers didn't take me off the books um, really quickly. So I was able to get put back on the furlough scheme. So that's me, hopefully, on that to March unless things change. Like, woo, it's a relief. But, um, I mean, other people just haven't been that lucky and, you know, they've lost their jobs and their employers can't put them back on because they're off the books. And I just, call me cynical. I'm a bit skeptical about the government and their timings. And I think that's, I think that was done on purpose, to be honest, to do that so last minute. But yeah, anyway, I am not Andrew Mars. This is not a politics show, so <laughs> I just, I just thought I would share my opinion because sometimes I can't not. But on a lighter note, um, is it even a lighter note? No, it's not even a lighter note. It's more just like this is what's been happening this week. So yeah, this house is Robbie's oldest brother's house. We lived here with his other brother. So Robbie's oldest brother has, he decided to sell the house. So it's been sold and the price, everything's been agreed, I think now. So we will be moving out of here, um, either before or after Christmas, we're not sure yet. And then Jamie, Robbie's next oldest brother, Robbie's the youngest. Um, hi Jamie, <laughs> if you're watching. <laughs> so Jamie moved out this week. Was it this week? I don't even know. Um, yeah, so he's moved out and now it's just Robbie and I living together alone. Da, da, da. No, it's been good. Like, it's been nice. It's quiet. Uh, we had to get a TV sorted, though, because uh, the TV was Jamie's. So, got that all sorted, rearranged the furniture downstairs, and now I have taken over Jamie's room. As you can see, this is my lady office. <laughs> I need to stop calling it that. I said that to mum. I was like, oh, I'm just clearing out my lady office. And she was like, you're, you're doing what? Uh, so yeah, I need to stop calling it that. But yes, this is now my office slash dressing room. I know there's 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 a rake of shoes blocking the door. That's because I was trying to photograph stuff in the mirror. Um, but yeah, so this is now my room, which is great because Robbie works from home. 
and he's on calls all day basically so you're kind of like sneaking around him all the time so now i can come up here and talk rubbish for hours and hours oh my god i've nearly done 11 minutes of talking already this vlog is going to be long sorry i need to stop talking but yeah so that's basically what's happened this week then and um, it'll be interesting to see what happens now post christmas robbie and i at the minute are kind of up in the air as to what we're going to do um we have been talking about moving to london for quite a long time but it's just the timing of it this year is just awful with coronavirus i, I kind of knew that i probably wouldn't have a job at the end of this so i've been looking for a job for a little bit now um just in case i ended up losing my job but i i think career-wise and everything robbie and i are keen to move to just kind of like pick things up a bit but yeah um that kind of fell flat with all the lockdown measures again so oh it's just so frustrating it just seems like this year is the year of like just go with it until you know until this all kind of levels itself out but um in the meantime you know i've got like two fantastic uh bosses um who have done so much for me this year with the furlough and then get me back on furlough so um they're trying their best to sort of keep me afloat while while things are a mess so god who knows you know i don't know what's gonna happen but ah oh, my battery's dying now typical typical that's probably the camera telling me if they shut up so um yeah i'll leave it here good morning it is saturday morning isn't it saturday today why do all the days become one um we are going to go to go up cave hill today and um, the weather isn't too bad it's quite cold but um nice and like crispy but before we went we go um i was going to just show you some skincare bits that i got recently this week then from chanel um which couldn't be better timing because i don't know if you can see these see little bits of the scars um where i have picked the life out of my face <laughs> um i am so bad for like just picking my face whenever i'm like anxious so and then i end up making a complete mess so actually this couldn't have been better time to be honest so i'll just show you some of the stuff that they sent over um so they sent me the uh sublimage sublimage my mom's gonna tell me off for this because I did this the last time in the last vlog. I think I said it was like the Camilla, is a Camilla flower? And um, mom was like, Eva, that's not how you say it. Cause I couldn't get it right. So we'll go for sublimage, sublimage. Um, but it's beautiful, it's a cleanser. So it's a gel to oil cleanser, which is usually what I go for whenever I'm whenever i'm buying cleansers myself because i find foam like any foam cleansers just like dries my skin out so so much so um i always would use a gel one um so basically all you do is gel in your hand rub it on your hands put it on your face you can put it straight on if you've got makeup on and then it just turns into like an oil and then you just wash it off with like a warm damp cloth so i've been using that now for the last um two or three days and i've definitely like i am like there's a couple of different products so i'll go through them all but um i've definitely like this has all been reduced finally which is great secondly oh yes so they sent this it's a vitamin c well or vitamin c and vitamin e clay mask um sorry trying to get this camera to focus and then focus back on my face um so it comes out like an orangey an orangey sort of clay, yeah an orangey clay i th for some reason i thought it was going to be black but obviously it's not because that's a charcoal mask um but this has actually been really really good um you can put it on for either two minutes before you do your makeup and use it as like a prep or you can put it on for i think it's 10 minutes um two to three times a week and then it just cleanses your skin um it's supposed to sort of like revitalize and brighten 
Um, I haven't put it on yet this morning, but I definitely have noticed again a difference. I find all Chanel's products to be like pretty amazing. I made Chanel. What else did I got? I, they sent me so. Oh yes, yeah, so I got their illuminating liquid fluid, which I've used before. It's like a really light foundation or foundation moisturizer. My brain, brain to mouth is not engaged this morning. But yeah, it's like a light found. I did it again. A light moisturizer. I would usually use quite like use quite a thick moisturizer. I use the Aesop, Aesop, whatever your preference and how you say it is. Um, and it's it's quite thick, but I try not to use too much of it because you could lather through it quite quickly because because of how, the thick consistency. Um, I have used this before, and it's just really nice and light on your face, and kind of leaves you, I think with like a dewiness throughout the day whenever you put your makeup on. And then also the Hydra Beauty Micro Gel for your, your under your eyes. So I'm gonna put that on in a little minute now because my skin's quite um, dry at the minute because I haven't put anything on. And then also they sent me two, uh, two creams then from the Le Lift range. So I've been using this now the last couple of nights. It's the Le Lift uh, Night Cream. So it is a thick cream. It's a bit more like the consistency of the Aesop one. So it's just like a, a thick pinky cream. It reminds me a wee bit of, my dad used to always go to the body shop to go and get his uh, refills of his vitamin A cream. So it's the same kind of color as that, but thicker. So yeah, I just put that on, you know, lightly because it is so thick and it actually, it spreads further than you think it's going to spread, but I've been using that now the last few nights and I'm waking up and my skin feels all like, oh. But I'm just out of the shower, that's why my skin feels kind of dry. And then their Le Lift uh, eye cream as well. So yeah, just stick that on um, in the evenings as well. But let me see. Yeah, I mean, you can use that day or night, but um, I don't want to use everything all at once. So at the minute I'm using the Hydra Beauty range <laughs> come out so it's i mean it's their packaging is always beautiful but uh so i just use a little bit put a tiny bit on my fingers wrap it together i have no mirror again so apologies i keep doing this and then it just like ends up with me like awkwardly staring at you <laughs> i mean i would jump in and out of different creams i love trying out new um, new skincare um, regimes and bits and bobs because I kind of like to see what works and also because I like to also say I suppose that I mean Chanel's products are expensive um, and I, I, I've always been interested in whether you know does it does it match up you know these expensive goods are they as good as you know are they any better, sorry, than the cheaper products? Um, there has been a few that I've like really have noticed that that vitamin C or vitamin C, vitamin E clay mask, I think has been really good um, so far. But um, I just thought, I mean, it's Chanel, I keep saying it's Chanel. I'm still blown away as I said the last time that they sent me bits and pieces, but it's great because it means I can try out bits and bobs um, and then get to compare them but yeah so that's the the vitamin or not vitamin my brain why am i not working today somebody help me it's the camilla water cream which i have as i said used before so again i always just put it on my hands and then rub it in but it smells so lovely um but yeah, I mean, so cleanser, a similar cleanser to the Sublimage one, because I know it is expensive, it's £85. One that I have used before that's um, actually similar enough in texture and consistency is the number seven. Uh, it's number seven, what do you call the cleanser now? It comes in like a bluey, a bluey kind of tube in the same, like similar sh shape, a bit, except a bit narrower. And it's the same thing, it's a gel to oil and you just put it straight on over your makeup and it'll completely take everything off. So if you are looking for a product that's slightly, you know, it's similar but like a lot cheaper, 
uh, the number seven cleanser blue bottle. I'll try and link it below, it's good. But if you are looking to splash out, I would highly recommend that uh, sublimage one. Uh, Christmas is coming up, so just saying. But yeah, no, it's great. I mean, trying these out is fantastic because as I said, I really enjoy sort of experimenting with skincare, seeing what works, what doesn't work. If I was to go to a shop, would I buy it myself? You know, that kind of thing. Um, I've always fancied trying out the Le Lift range because I just loved their the texture. Um, so I'll tell you more, I'll kind of keep you up to date with how that's all going whenever I get using things. But um, that is the moisturizer, the Hydra Beauty one on. So yeah, it's got a nice shine off it. Um, so I'm gonna do my makeup um, and then get going. So I just thought I'd show you some of my makeup while I'm because I've got a bit of time to kill because we're not meeting our friend until a bit later. I hope it's not too dark in here. The light at the minute is just so bad. Like, it's so typical I get a camera in the winter months whenever. It would have been a lot easier to film in the summer. Okay, so foundation. So, Chanel. Sorry if this is really Chanel heavy. Um. I am gifted products by Chanel. I'm under no obligation though to advertise them or post about them or anything like that. But obviously because they send me it, it is the products that I use the most. And to be honest now, like I would go and buy a lot of stuff myself from Chanel um, because I just find their products to be so, I mean, they're just consistently good. Packaging's beautiful, they smell amazing. They react well with my skin and I mean they do make you feel a little bit fancy when you put them on. <laughs> so um, I do buy Chanel products myself though, um, just to clear that up. But yeah, so recently, well, I say recently, oh I'm gonna sneeze now. Uh, oh I hate that whenever like you go to sneeze and then it just disappears, it's awful. I make that sound like it's like the end of the world, it's awful. So yes, sorry, not recently, during the summer, uh, Chanel released their, uh, I hate saying things in French, Le Beige, <laughs> um, Le Beige range. Oh God, my, my GCSE French teacher will be having a fit. They released that during the summer and they brought out a couple of different foundations. So Chanel sent me three, um, three different tones, B40, B30 and B20 which has been great because I've been able to slowly kind of go down them because in the words of that famous news presenter in America, i so pale. I really have, I've lost my summer glow completely and I'm now a ghost. I also, my skin colors kind of, like I've got a yellowy kind of tone to my skin. So it's really annoying when the winter comes, I can end up looking really like green, like pale green. I'm quite like my dad that way. There's certain colors we just cannot wear during the winter. Otherwise, like people are like, are you okay, hon? So the three foundations, um, I think I'm I'm down to be 30 now, but um, this is them here. I have been using them now for, uh, been using them sort of near the end of the summer. So maybe sort of end of August, September time. They've been really, really good. The only thing is now, I don't know if my skin has, I don't know if anybody else finds this, but when your skin just stops reacting well to certain creams or certain foundations and suddenly, like my skin would be turn into like a blotting paper and like, I put my foundation on. Whoa, did you hear my tummy? Whoa, I need to eat. <laughs> um, sorry, my skin turns into like blotting paper and basically I put the foundation on and it's just like, like sucks it all up and then my skin ends up really dry and it's so annoying because it, my skin was reacting so well to these at the beginning of um, the yeah, end of summer beginning of September and now I'm finding whatever's happening they've just I don't know my skin just feels really dry so I have been using those but I've actually switched back to their CC cream now I bought this myself um flip one with have been could have been the start of the year. Um, I know they say about the shelf life of uh, products, but this is fine, I'm still using it. It's okay. So it's a CC cream, 
rather than a BB cream. Don't quote me on this because I might be wrong. I think BB creams are slightly lighter. Um, this has like the consistency of a foundation but it's not as like heavy as a foundation if you know what I mean. So it's like a moisturiser as well and then it's got a certain, it's got a fruit in it. What is it? Oh what is that fruit called? There's some fruit in it which like one smells great and two it's like it keeps my skin like completely moisturised all day. So I've switched back to this because I just wanted to see how things go. But I'll show you if it did or sorry if it made a difference and I do think it has. So that's the way it comes out. If you can see that. Focus camera. There we go. That is how it comes out. So do you know what I mean? Like it is quite like it's foundation-y. So and then you just rub it in and it leaves you sort of with like, it's like a tint, but it, oh my god, my tummy, ooh, um, it's like a tint, but it's got more coverage than just like a tinted moisturiser. Alright, hold on, I need to go get a mirror because this could be a disaster. So, yes, I don't know if you can see that. The light is so annoying. Um, that is it on. But you can kind of see like there's a really like nice sheen off it. Now some people might, I know some people like a matter look. I quite like a really dewy, glowy look that, uh, you know, almost looks like you're not really wearing makeup. I definitely would wear more makeup nowadays than I would in the summer. Um, just because I need a bit of colour in my face. I probably have a slightly different coloured hand on my face. No, I don't know. And then after that I would use the Chanel, again it's Le Beige, Le Beige, uh, Healthy Glow Sheer Powder in number 30 I use. I have leathered through this already but um, it's a sheer powder but it has like a, you know it has like a colour to it and I just do that on my, my cheeks. Help the lips. Um, on my cheeks, on my nose, and on my forehead. I don't really go in for all that contouring business. I could not be arsed. Um, so this is as contour. Or yeah, this is as contoury as it gets. That is not a word. So. Just underneath my jawline, my cheek, or my, the hollows of my cheekbones, my forehead and my nose to sort of create some kind of like definition. And then I use, where is that going? Oh there. Now this is really old. I don't know if you can get it anymore. I have had it for quite a while. <laughs> but it's the best blusher that I, I well, it's my favourite and it works great for my skin tone. It is the MAC blusher in Gingerly. Um, so I just use a tiny bit of that to be honest. And on the apples of my cheeks, so you gotta do this weird thing where you're all like <laughs> smiling. Like I was doing this in front of my dad like recently and he's like, What are you smiling about? It's like, I'm just so happy to see you, Dad. Sorry, I don't know what I'm talking about. There. So, just to, to add a wee, maybe a wee bit more. Just to add a bit, a touch of colour onto my cheeks. And then sort of blend that in again with my big brush. I can't remember, or what are these brushes called? Real Techniques, is that what it is? I think that's what they're called. Again, I've had them for years. And, oh yes, and then... They sent, so Chanel sent this as well, with the foundations during the summer as part again of the Le Beige range. So it's a sheer healthy glow highlighting fluid. Um, excuse my nails by the way. I've just taken my nail varnish off and they probably look ghastly. So again, just a tiny bit, rub it in my fingers. And then, ooh. I put it on the highest point of my cheekbones and just pat it in. 
think some people use brushes for a lot of their makeup, but I don't know. I, I would tend to use my fingers quite a lot. The only thing I don't use my fingers for is my eyeshadow. Or sorry. Yeah, the only thing I don't use my fingers for is for my eyeshadow and um, sort of bronzer and powder. But I feel like you can just get in easier with your fingers when you're doing your foundation and all. And all. That was so Belfast. And all. Um, and then I'll just put like a little bit on my nose, the bridge of my nose, to try and give the impression that I have a long skinny nose. Dad says if you like put me on, like he used to tip me up like this as a kid and then pretend to hoover the floor because of my nostrils. Thanks dad. See, you could never get too big for your boots in my family. Everyone keeps you very grounded. And then just a wee bit on your Cupid's bow without too much. Otherwise, you'll look like you got a big sweaty lip. Nobody wants a big sweaty upper lip. So, uh, yeah. Oh, and here as well. I would put it there. I don't know if I did that. We'll just keep going. Otherwise, I'm going to bore you to tears. So, and then, da -da -da -da, what do I do next? My eyeshadow. I have a good load of, a good range of eyeshadows, but I tend to always go back to the same one. Sorry, I sit back further. I'm always very close to you, I feel sorry. Um, so, again, Chanel. Uh, I use the Le Quatre Ombre. <laughs> You didn't know you were getting a French lesson. Here you are. Um, is it quatre? Is it quatre? Un, deux, trois, quatre, quatre, cinq. Yeah, quatre. Le quatre ombre. That wasn't bad, was it? Um, I went to Spain and lived in Madrid for a year, so I always get Spanish and French mixed up. I actually got a nice start at UCSE French. I'm just nervous. I just don't like speaking French in front of people. I can't speak French, but you know what I mean. Um, so sorry, I digress. It's the, yeah, Le Quatre Ombre <laughs> 268. Oh god, Candeur et Experience. <laughs> Basically, it is this eyeshadow. Um, I have used this to death, as you can tell. I love a brown, a brown eyeshadow. So I, I just always, you know, Real Techniques brush. I'm very loose and uh, not very neat with it because I'm usually also in a rush but it's just to give my eyes a wee bit of like colour otherwise I I have gone for like a naked eye a naked eye <laughs> um, before but I always find it really weird and I love it on, on you know when I see it on the catwalk and models and everything, like I love like a completely like nude eye with like a really, really strong red lip, but I don't know why, maybe I just can't see it on myself. Like every time I do it, I'm just like, I just look like I've got pinholes for eyes. Um. So, but I'm probably just not doing it right. So yeah, bung that on really roughly and ungracefully. Ungracefully, is that a word? Um. And then just a wee tiny brush as well, and I'll just go underneath my eyes. Um, just to give that a bit of definition too. I'm just saying, can you actually see what I'm doing? I keep forgetting that I need to angle this so you can see. Um, so I just go underneath my eyes like that. And then mascara. I always use these wee testers. Um, I do have a couple of different mascaras uh, from Chanel again. So there's th th this one is uh, Le Volume Ultra Noir de Chanel number 90. Um, it's got a really fat brush on it, which I'm I find difficult. The bristles are quite short and stumpy. So when I put it on, it gets really, really clumpy, and I don't like a clumpy, a clumpy sort of like 
almost mush together eyelashes i love like you know really what is that like fanned out um so i actually always use this little this wee tiny tester um so it's le volume de chanel again in number 10 noir um i don't know if you can see that but the bristles are just slightly longer um which actually makes a real difference so i only i try to just use a tiny bit actually this one might sound weird but i quite enjoy whenever it's the mascara is nearly at its end because you get less product on the brush and i think it just looks a wee bit more natural more natural my english no more natural Ugh. i get so nervous whenever i'm doing these sometimes and then my english gets really really bad um which is ridiculous, but um, there you go. So, oh, I hate when that happens. There. I don't know if you can see that. It just lifts them like a wee bit. Oh, that was very close. Um, it just lifts your eyelashes like a wee bit, gives them a little bit of like volume. Um. And just like opens your eyes a bit more and makes me look less puffy and groggy, which I, I always look in the morning. I am queen of the puff. But, um, and then eyebrows, I bought this myself a couple of months ago. So it is the Longwear Eyebrow Gel in 370 Brun. I'll link all these products below because I know there's quite a lot of them and my French is shocking and you've probably been like what is she talking about so this i find this goes either one of two ways which is it works or it goes to shit so my eyebrows are oh they just they either play ball and they're so like you're like oh my god it's the best eyebrows i've ever had or they're just like no and they all clump together and one goes one way and the other goes the other way so fingers crossed um i try to again get as little product as possible off or sorry as little product as possible on the brush because otherwise you just end up you know it's too much this is always the bit that's a nightmare. I need to stop talking, hold on. So yeah, I always start like here first, here at the bottom to try and, to try and just define them a bit. And then it means that by the time I get to this wee bit of my eyebrow, there's maybe less product on the brush and it means I can just fan them up without um, getting eyebrow gel like all over my, skin underneath because then it just looks weird or not weird it just looks awful it just looks awful <laughs> okay i really need to stop talking i'm making a mess now i like fanning my eyebrows out mum thinks they're sometimes too big I talk about my mum all the time she's, she's so oh god i did it i did it um she's like she thinks sometimes they're a bit too fanned out but i i do like a big bushy brush <laughs> um and i mean that is the way they tend to go so just gotta embrace embrace the caterpillars <laughs> Thomas the Tank Engine song has been in my head all day. All day, it's only in the morning. What am I talking about? Okay, I need to stop rambling today. I'm, I haven't eaten. I mean, I'm hungry. I'm a bit manic, so apologies for all the madness today. But there we go. That is my makeup. Okay, moment. I'll go with moment. Um, Mm 
there. I just dab it on. A wee bit of colour. Ooh. It looks very hold on. I quite like, you know, that like just been kissed sorta of smudged look. Like you've it's not really like you've got those to go on. I, I hate like really like defined I don't hate defined lips. It depends on the occasion, but for day to day, I like it that it almost looks like I don't have any. I don't know. I may as well not have it on. So there you go. That is my makeup for today. Um, and I will probably stick my hair up because we're going up a mountain. I know, like I'm doing my makeup like this for going up a mountain, but um, it's not really a mountain. It's a glorified hill. I keep telling Robbie that. It's like, it's a mountain. I was like, it's a glorified hill. But, uh, yeah, I'll probably stick my hair up because it's really, really windy when you get up to the top. Um, so, yeah, I'll show you what I'm wearing then. And then, um, I'd say, what time is it? I'd say, yeah, we better go because we're meeting a friend. So, yeah, go show you what I'm wearing. <laughs> so, this jumper, I am obsessed with this jumper. And daughter it really really kindly gifted me this this week um it's their iron like iron knit in navy i think it might be called g g long i'm going to link everything again below um it's also my instagram if you want to check it out um but it is honestly the best jumper i've ever had i'm not just saying that the fit is fantastic um i find getting jumpers that like fit my frame quite difficult i'm five foot two as i said 400 times in the last vlog i'm really sorry um but like i have quite a broad back and you know i'm 28 i don't exercise that much you know i've got a little bit of stuff going on here and i like which i like to kind of not cover up like i'm not you know i'm my, i'm happy with my body i am who i am sort of thing but um I find that if a jumper is far too tight on me, it ends up making me look like, you know, like a little, like, a wee sort of, I don't know what this is, but you know what I mean. So, yeah, basically, <laughs> what am I talking about? Um, This is perfect because it just, it falls really, really, like, you know, nicely over my tummy, um, on my chest, and then comes to, like, a really, sorry, a really flattering length of my leg on my leg um and then sleeve wise i've only had to turn well i kind of fluctuate up and down but i usually have to turn them just up once because that's just my arm length really but um short arm length um short limbs but uh yeah so it's absolutely beautiful it's 100 percent wool really really soft like i couldn't believe how soft it was because i do have other iron knit jumpers if you follow me, on, follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I wore my cream one to death during the summer when we were camping and traveling about and stuff in the west coast of Ireland. So when I saw this, I was like, yes, I'm also obsessed with navy. Um, I love navy and black together, um, believe Bit of a controver controversial uh, color combination, but I'm I'm here for it. Um, and I also love navy with denim, the, especially this colour denim. I actually ordered another pair, two new pairs of jeans that should hopefully arrive this week. They're from And Other Stories. Uh, they're called Keeper Cut Jeans, right? Keeper Cut, as in two separate words. But when you say it in a Northern Irish accent, it sounds like you're from like the country and you're like, Keeper Cut Jeans, hey. So they're not a Keeper Cut Jeans, they're Keeper cut jeans <laughs> oh i need to eat i am literally off on one today um on my feet i am not wearing these up a mountain why do i still have these on my feet i've totally forgotten i'm gonna change these obviously into my docks i think i got these birkenstocks new i think i said that to you maybe at the start of the week they are the monterey exquisite uh birkenstock sandals in all black but um, I'm gonna go change them <laughs> now and put on my Doc Martens and stick my coat on. So I'll show you what I'm wearing just before I go. Um, yeah, I'm not climbing Cave Hill like this. So there, that is the finished look. 
very mountain chic. Uh, some people will probably think I'm mad climbing a mountain. It's a glorified hill. It's not a mountain. Take that, Robbie. Yeah, in a pair of jeans. Yep, I'm gonna do it and I'll tell you how it goes. <laughs> So this is the finished look. Um, I'm wearing my Sankovis bag. Um, it's called C uh, Celia. Celia, I think it is, or Cecilia. One or the other. It's linked below and I wore it in my last vlog too. Um, so I'm going to wear that. And then just my... It's a navy cashmere scarf from... Uh, where did I get this? Oh, Marks and Spencer's men's section. That's a good tip actually for you. Christmas time, the seals, men's scarf, you can get the cashmere scarves for like, I think I got this for a tenner and I've had it for like two years now. Um, it's so cozy and navy, I love navy. Um, yeah, you've seen the bottom outfit. And then this is my Uniqlo coat. Um, I think it was a collaboration between Uniqlo and Le Mer. Um Is it a men's coat? This is a, is it a man's? I think it is. I got, I actually ordered two of these from the US. Um, I missed out on it in the UK and I was gutted because it is such a handy trench to have and it's also waterproof just in case it does rain. But um, they sold out everywhere in the UK and then I found a black and a navy one on the US site, which was fun trying to get that over here but I managed to get it in the end. The black one I had ordered and then they sent me an email and said that um, they actually didn't have any left which is annoying because it's a really great coat um, and it goes with everything. I'll just show you the collar. So you can, sorry, you can pop the collar up and then it, sorry I keep moving the camera too fast. You pop the collar up and then button it close, or you can wear it down as such. Um, but it's great. I mean, I just have to roll the sleeves, but sure, that's just standard for me, isn't it? Um, it's a lovely length as well. It comes down really nice to a nice point in the leg. And yeah, it's totally waterproof. So it's fantastic for Northern Ireland. <laughs> um, and then on my feet are my docks. Um, they are the Doc Martens monos in 1461, so they're all black as well, a bit like my Birkenstocks. I do love a all black shoe. Um, they're also covered in mud from last weekend, I really need to clean them. But yeah, that's what I'm going to wear, so I may bung my hair up and get ready to go. So yeah, see you soon. Oh, that's make sense. Yeah. Yeah. That concludes another week's vlog. Um, I hope it wasn't too chatty. Um, sometimes I get in these like little like hyper moods and then I'll just ramble and ramble and ramble. So uh, it's usually when I'm hungry. <laughs> so um, I hope you enjoy this week's vlog. Um, I just wanted to say as well, thank you so, so much for all the shares and all the lovely comments and lovely messages that you've sent me on Instagram as well about my vlogs. Um, it's something I've wanted to do for quite a long time but I suppose there's been like a confidence issue there and so I hope I don't wreck your heads by talking about um, literally everything that goes on <laughs> in my life and uh, so yeah thank you so much. I've ra I'm rambling again. Ah! I can't stop. Right, thank you so much. Um, if you want to subscribe, I it would make my day. <laughs>
Oh my god. Thanks for watching and see you soon.